Hello everyone! Today I'll show you how to make the pin tucks. Have a look at the skirt. It's mine. I've made it on the basis of the 10 measurement system. What is different about the skirt is that there is a seam on the center front, which turns into a small slit. You can see it here. There are also three pin tucks on each side of the seam. When I put the skirt on, everyone says it's amazing. So I've decided to show it to you. However, the technology of the pin tucks making can be applied not only to the skirt. This skirt looks very good both with a sweater and a shirt. However, it's much more interesting than a usual skirt. Everyone knows that the pin tucks exist, but it's better to know how to make them. Pin tucks can also be made in the shirts and blouses. If you want to hide a belly, you can make a blouse with the pin tucks, which go up from the waistline. Pin tucks also look really good on the back. Now let's get back to the skirt. Here you can see the pin tucks, and here a piece of fabric we're going to work with. The sewing machine is already threaded, so we can start working. The distance between the pin tucks here is 3 cm. This rule is 3 cm wide. I'm going to make the three pin tucks now. To make the pin tucks, you need to draw the lines with the ruler. Notice that I draw all the lines on the wrong side. This is my item. I've drawn the three lines on the wrong side. There is nothing on the right side. I use a bright thread for you to see everything clearly. Be very careful. Every stitch should get in the line. Don't make wide stitches. Be very attentive. Get straight in the line. I just want to show you the technique. I really want you to make the items with the pin tucks. I'll tuck all the three lines this way. There is nothing but the stitching on the right side. Have a look here. This is how the item should look like from the wrong and from the right sides. When making a skirt, you'll need to do absolutely the same thing. Draw the lines with a ruler and tack them. In this case, you won't make a mistake when stitching. I'll show you how to do everything accurately in order not to fix anything later. Let's go to the ironing desk. Have a look here. I need to press the seams close, folding them right in the stitching. Watch how I'm doing it. Now I do the same thing with the other line. You can't make mistakes here.
The second one is ready. Now I move on to the third pin tuck. You can make more pin tucks if you want. It seems very hard, but actually it's not. If you decide to make a skirt, make it look good. Have a look at the pin tucks. I've pressed them closed. Let's go to the sewing machine now. The stitching will be 7 mm wide. When stitching, I'll be looking here to check if everything is ok. The edge shouldn't move. If you decide to make a wider pin tux, you can use this line as a checking point. I think I'll stitch one pin tuck this way. Let's start stitching. The length of the stitches should be 3 mm. I stitch slowly because I don't want the fabric to stretch. I'm looking not at the needle, but at the edge of the fabric. One pin tuck is ready, so let's move on to the next one. These two pin tucks are the same, so I'll make the third one different. Have a look here. I place the edge of the fabric on this line. You can find it in every sewing machine. I remind you that I'm looking not at the needle, but at this line. I remove the tacking and go to the ironing desk. I need to iron the item in such a way that I don't get any folds on the other side. Press them with the steam. Steam the pin tacks one by one. Let's see if there are any folds on this side. Everything is ok. You'll need to do absolutely the same thing in a skirt. Don't think that you need a lot of time to do it. My item is ready. 
I'm sure you'll manage to make the pin tucks. My motto is the same – be different and beautiful every day. Write the comments, ask the questions and subscribe to my channel. My name is Paukšta Irina. Goodbye.